This is the current situation in Kenya as of today. At least 39 people have been killed in the current nationwide protest against the government. The heated protest led to the deployment of the military across the country in a bid to restore peace and order. This, however, should not come as a surprise because the Lord had already revealed it to his prophet in a series of revelations since 2021. I'm fighting against riots, riots. Civil people standing and complaining against the government. So it's cooking. There is a riot coming, I'm telling you. And I saw people on the street vu les gens dans les, dans les rues. fighting against authority. En train de contre les autorités. We need to pray. Nous devons prier. Because I saw Parce que vu political things causing the civil standing. Les and choses politiques engendraient des manifestations les civils s'élever, commencer des something. marches. Quelque chose, something. quelque chose, quelque something. chose, something. quelque something. chose. Something with the recent one being on the 18th of May, 2024. Listen to what he says. Hear me and hear me well, that Kenya is about to go through something very, very small, but through that which it shall go through, it shall bring a glory. For it is written, where the cloud of death was covering there came a great light there came a great light there came a great light no matter what is ahead oh yes no matter what has been orchestrated yes for kenya to go through the bible says even if i go to the shadow of death i fear no evil. yes no Whatever that the enemy orchestrated to cause, yes. let it turn for the glory of God. Not so long after that, the unrest erupted. Down with the colonizers, attitude down with this finance bill. That is the sound of Nairobi today, not just on this street, but on lots of many other streets where police are trying to push back largely peaceful protesters. They keep saying again and again that we are peaceful. Do not disperse us in this way. But police keep doing this if they're not using tear gas, they're using water cannons to push back these protesters who are just trying to tell the government that life has become too expensive for them. I concede and therefore I will not sign the 2024 finance bill and it shall subsequently be withdrawn and I have agreed with these members that that becomes our collective position. Because I saw Parce que vu. political things causing the civil standing les choses politiques engendraient des manifestations les civils s'élever commencer des marches quelque chose quelque chose quelque chose quelque chose watch carefully as the man of god uses his hand to prophetically illustrate that the riots will be against the signing of a document i will not sign the 2024 finance bill i will not sign the 2024 finance bill despite the prophecy about a cloud of death the man of God came once again and led the people in prayer and shared a word of hope for the future of Kenya. Watch this. For it is written, where the cloud of death was covering, 
there came a great light that's true that which it shall go through it shall bring a glory On Sunday, the 30th of June, 2024, the man of God broke his silence with a stern warning to the body of Christ. He spoke as directed by God. Watch this. I said I will not talk. But Lord, I will advise you. Hear this. No matter how bad is a leader, according to your eyes, don't subject yourself to the bad you can see to the leader. Override the bad by praying for good. Yes. Number one, as a Christian, you are not subjected to the negativity that is controlling the cosmos. We don't fight with flesh we fight with the spirit and in the spirit Daniel was able to raise up an army to fight against the king that was arresting the Israel people but Daniel instead went on his knees and started praying morning, afternoon, night morning, afternoon, night why? for the deliverance of the people of Israel Amen. So, if as the family of God, as the church of Kenya, we can realize that our battle is not just, it's not just to get into the street, but to be more audible in prayer. Their agenda will not just be intercepted physically, also spiritually it shall be intercepted. Why? Because we can do so much effort in the flesh. Thinking that our voice should be heard in the ear of man. And yet the man is subjected and authority that coming from above. If heaven can declare over the leader of this nation, stop. It doesn't matter what is written, what has been spoken, it shall be revoked. But when I'm seeing video churches are getting to the road, it's okay, it is fine. But you are missing a big part. Prayer and fasting. Amen. Amen. I know you know clap, but that is the truth. Yes, sir. Listen. Prayer has the capacity to change even the main thoughts. Prayer has the capacity to send an angel to strike Herod. The moment he's standing in the pulpit, is gone. Prayer has the capacity to take breath out of the mouth and out of the nostril of someone. Prayer is better than gun. It's better than bullets. It's better than stone. It's better than screaming. Yes. It's better than running. Yes. Prayer is greater. Give me a one man who can pray. He will turn the situation of a hundred people on the road in one hour. One man. He can enter the mind of someone and turn the mind of someone. That's my place. I am silent in the eyes of men, but I'm not silent in the eyes of God. Yes. So I believe as much God has been revealing to us, the place to intercept the agenda of the enemy is in prayer. We are pushing things forward. When men are thinking that things are going backward, we are pushing it forward. Yes. Yes. Because, because you and I, we are going to join in prayer to intercept the agenda of the enemy. Let us heed to the instruction from God as spoken by his prophet. The agenda of the enemy has to be intercepted both physically and spiritually. Don't don't play and overlook the power of prayer. If heaven speaks, nobody can outrule that decree. Pray and keep praying for our nation, Kenya. 
Remember Jeremiah 29 verse 7 urges us to pray and seek the peace and prosperity of our land. For if it prospers, so will we. Fear not Kenya, for the Lord is on our side. <music>